Hey guys, it's Roman here for Bulka Gaming, and today Rockstar has finally released all the details for the Grand Theft Auto Online heist. So here is the full breakdown of everything we've seen in the trailer and in the screenshots they've released today. All of this information is confirmed by Rockstar, so it's all definitely going to happen. So let's get down to what we've seen in the trailer and what we've seen in the screenshots. Going to go over all the new vehicles, new weapons, and basically how the heists are actually going to play out themselves. Um, Rockstar said that these heists are going to be coming out in early 2015. Apparently. I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Well, actually, Rockstar, I think everyone's been ready and waiting for this information for a long time. So the first thing we see is this cruise ship, which looks like the one from uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC for GTA 4. And it's obviously going to be part of some kind of heist, which makes sense. Obviously, a lot of rich people own yachts and cruise ships, so... As for what you'd actually be stealing them, it's not very clear, it could be anything really, it could be maybe there's a safe on there full of money, maybe you're stealing paintings or expensive decorations from there, who knows. But I'd imagine there'd be multiple ways of getting out to the ship, like maybe you can clearly take a helicopter, you could probably take a boat out there, maybe the submarine, maybe just have the scuba gear, maybe you can parachute onto it. Uh, I doubt that this cruise ship is actually drivable, it's probably more than likely it's a static object. So I wouldn't get your hopes up about that. But it would be really good if they added it into free mode as well. You could place just a hangout on there. And then the second thing that we see is when the players are storming the deck of the ship, they're wearing balaclavas. So hopefully you'll be able to wear these in free mode and stuff. Just buy them from the mask shop. That would be a pretty cool item to wear on your player all the time. But it could, could also just be that it's, and you can only use them in heists. Also, another thing that you can see is that um, when they're in the helicopter at the start, there's also people on jet skis below. And then when they're when they're storming the deck, you can see people in the helicopter. So clearly the missions could be sort of focused around having two people do this, two people do that. So maybe two people doing the main role and two people are in a supporting role, like just gunning from the chopper. Now the next scene of the trailer is in the planning room of your apartment. Uh, Lester's given a talk about, about forming a crew. If you look at the whiteboard in the background, there's some text on there. And it's to do with planning a heist. I've copied the text from what I can see and put it up on the screen now. And it's basically just like the basic objectives of the heist or appears to be. Something like observe the security. You're obviously robbing a bank. And it says collect page. Don't know who page is. It could be it's obviously some kind of character to do with the heist. So it could be that there's sort of AI or maybe it's just part of like a storyline behind the heists. And it says collect some equipment as well. So I'm not sure what equipment it could be. It's probably something like a, a drill or maybe a saw or something like that. And the second part of the text is a little harder to read, but it seems to say source the car for the get for the fleecer job. So it's obviously like finding the getaway car. It says that it's a Karuma, which is a sort of a basic four-door car. So I'm not sure if you plan what car, if part of the plan is choosing which car you want to use as a getaway vehicle. Just looking at that text, it seems like it might be predefined which, which car you have to get uh, for each height. Now the next scene is really cool. It obviously shows a massive gunship helicopter. It's based off of the real life MI-24 Hind. As you can see, it's got four underslung rocket pods, which will give you a lot of firepower. And I'd assume it has some kind of machine gun on it as well. Probably like a rotatable one underneath the front of the helicopter. The second part of this clip that's pretty interesting is the convoy in the background going down the road. Um, it looks to be some kind of, well, it's obviously some kind of military convoy. Uh, it looks like some of the jeeps may be Merryweather jeep, so maybe it's Merryweather you're, you're attacking. But it would appear that one of the heists is going to be you have to attack a convoy, which would be really cool. And then it shows some guys down on the ground as well, attacking the convoy, which would suggest that you can have someone in the heli and people on the ground as well, just like having people in the heli with a cruise ship heist. The next scene shows a classic bank heist, and it wouldn't surprise me if there's quite a few bank heists as part of them. The bank they seem to be robbing is the one in the top right of the city that you can get inside at the moment in free mode. And it shows them using the drill, which you might only be able to use during heist, or it could be a weapon that you could use in free mode possibly. And it could be different things in the vault. Uh, from the trailer, they're just unlocking the safety deposit boxes. But it could be that maybe there's a full vault full of cash, or maybe it's different every time you play the heist, or maybe it's different for each bank. The next thing we see is this, what appears to be a brand new car. As you can see, it's been armoured up like the new Duke of Death car. So maybe that armour plating will now be an upgrade available for all cars. This next scene is another planning phase part of a heist, and it's hard to make out exactly what it says on the whiteboard, but it appears to be the stages of a heist, something along the lines of stealing a plane and attacking a prison bus. Or it could be, from the way that it's worded, maybe different options for how you can go about taking on a heist. So maybe the first option is to parachute from a plane into the prison and help someone escape. 
Maybe the second one is attacking the convoy. And then the third one clearly says pose as cops. Seems that's some kind of undercover heist where you sneak into the prison. There's also then a couple of scenes which clearly shows that you can pose as a cop during one of the heists. So maybe that means that the police uniform will be available in free mode, which would be pretty awesome. And then the next thing we see is obviously the big reveal in the trailer, the aircraft carrier. I'm not sure whether this would be available in free mode and stuff or whether it would just appear in the heist. But once again, like the cruise ship, I highly doubt you'd be able to drive it. It'd just be a static object. But it seems like the heist would involve just stealing jets like you do in a mission that's already in GTA at the moment. Or perhaps you then use the jets as part of a heist to blow something up. But then we also see this brand new jet, which is different to the old one. The old laser jet was a cross between a real life F-35 and the F-18 Super on it. Whereas this one's a cross between the F-35 and the Harrier. And it's obviously vertical takeoff. I'm not sure whether you'd actually be able to buy this in the free mode. You actually weren't able to buy the other jet, but it could be. Or maybe they'll introduce some other kinds of vertical takeoff jets. And if you look in the background when the jet's taken off, you can just make out a anti-air gun on the ship. Which I've no idea if it'd actually be usable or whether it's just for decoration, but it could be. But it could be like a part of the mission where you have to shoot down aircraft. Or perhaps you have to avoid getting shot down when you take off. Now the next scene is really interesting, it's another planning screen and if you look closely at the whiteboard it clearly shows you a reward and it says $670,000. So if that is the final cut for a heist that's quite a lot, it's a lot more than I was expecting. It means that you'd only have to do a couple of heists and you could buy like a helicopter or something. Whereas now at the moment you'd have to do like a hundred jobs just to get a million. And then next to that it also tells you what each player does, what their role is. And it seems to be you get a percentage of the final take based on what you do. So from that, the pilot gets 55% and everyone else gets 15%, which is a pretty cool system. And I'd assume that the host of the game, the person creating the heist, would get to choose who does what. Now, it doesn't look like there's a huge amount going on in the next scene, but it, all it shows is that you can have night vision goggles. And the heist that they're on seems to be taking place in that laboratory building that you do a heist in a single player, which is pretty cool. And then in the next scene, we can see someone firing the flare gun, which will no doubt become a weapon for in free mode and stuff that you can buy. And also, if you look in the top right of the screen, right at the very end of that clip, you can see a new helicopter, which is based on the real life Huey by the looks of it. And then in the next shot we can get a better view of that helicopter and um, you can see it's got a minigun mounted on each side and um, that'll be a really cool helicopter to have in free mode assuming you can buy it just flying around using the miniguns and stuff on people so that's it for the trailer everything they seem to have showed off so i'll just go over some of the screenshots that they've released as well because there was a couple of interesting things in there that they didn't show in the trailer first thing being this pickup truck with a machine gun mounted on the back so the carrying rebel is already in the game but this one has a massive machine gun mounted on the back I'm not sure if it would be available in free mode and stuff or whether it would just be only in the heists. But it would be really awesome if it was in free mode as well. But as for the machine gun, it looks like a heavy machine gun. And with the sights on it, it looks like it might be anti-air or just for, or you could use it for both. But it would be a pretty cool vehicle anyway. And then another screenshot shows some guys in hazmat suits with gas masks. So that could be another possible outfit to wear on heists. And hopefully you can buy all these outfits for free mode as well. Then there's another screenshot showing off more clearly that big armoured truck with a machine gun on the top. And if you look in the back it looks like there's two benches on there. So it could possibly be a six or eight seater vehicle. If you had two in the front, two in the back. And then either two or four people in the back depends on how many could fit in there. Then there's another screenshot showing, showing the players dressed as, dressed as garbage men. Which is hints now also with that little scene in the trailer where you're talking around that garbage truck. So it seems like that will be incorporated into a heist somehow. And also at that car that we saw earlier with the armor plated windows. It could possibly be the Karuma, the new version added in, but I'm not sure about that. And then the last screenshot shows Lester in front of a map with circles on it. I'm not sure if those circles relate to different heists or just different stages in one heist. But one of the circles is near the cas near where the casino is in the map. So it could possibly be another casino job like the one in San Andreas. And then the last thing I want to go over was just a couple of quotes that have been said from Rockstar. But it seems like the way that the heists are going to be organised is one person who's the heist leader will pay for everything up front and then they won't get paid until the very end of the heist whereas everybody else will all be employed by him and they'll get paid for each stage of the heist. You've also said that the heist will be four player and they'll be pretty much similar to the single player heists in terms of going and collecting things first and then and then each crew member will have a different position. Like you might be a driver, you might be a hacker, you might be an explosive specialist or a pilot, something like that. 
in order to actually start a heist, you have to be at least ranked 12 and you have to own a high-end apartment so that you get a planning room. And then you go to that room in your apartment to launch the missions. And from what I can tell from this quote, it'll be that all of the prep missions will be sort of together as one. So you'd have two people, so you'd have two people stealing a car while two other people go to the police station. So it seems like it might be pretty, like you might have a lot of freedom around it. It might just be three markers on the map for each objective, like steal the car here, break into the police station here, and you can just send as many people as you want to do each one. And then when each of the objectives are completed, that mission will be complete and you can move on to the actual heist. They've said that there'll be five unique strands involving over 20 total missions, which will add up to around 20 hours of gameplay. So those five unique strands could link up with the image of Alesta and the map, as there's five circles on there, so five separate heists. And they've also said that they'll be given up that there'll be rewards for if the same players play several heists in a row and there'll be another bonus for, play, for playing all of the heists in first person mode and there'll also be elite bonus challenges which are basically like the checklist of things that you have to complete so it could be say you have to do it in a certain time or you can't take or you, you're only allowed to take a certain amount of damage, or you need to have a certain percentage of accuracy. So that's everything I've got from this trailer. If there's anything else that you've noticed or picked up on, then just leave it in the comments and everyone else will get to see it as well, if there's anything that we've missed. And I'd like to get your opinions as well of what you think of these heists, and whether you think Rockstar will actually deliver on their release date. So be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be making a couple more videos similar to this, showing off some more features and stuff that's been showed off in the trailer. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And feel free to share the video on Twitter or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video.